I am Captain Petra Holloway. I'm a labor and delivery nurse. And I'm from Immokalee, Florida. It's a very small farmer's town. I was a migrant worker growing up. I remember just being out in the fields, you know, picking tomato, bell pepper. It was hard. I didn't want to work that kind of hard life for the rest of my life. One day, my dad comes up to me, and I'm, I'm about 16 years old. And I'm sitting on top of a bucket, tearing up the tomato plant. He goes, Petrita, what's wrong? And I said, I hate this life, Daddy. We're just working so hard. You know, we're in the hot sun all day. And he's like, you don't like this life? And I said, no. He goes, then do something about it. I just remember everything clicking in at that point. Like, I want to do something more. I want to be somebody. I just didn't know how to. My mom was the one who told me, what about the Air Force? And at first I was like, no. I'm like, I don't want to go in the Air Force, Mom. She goes, you can get college. You'll live on your own. So I looked at my mom. I said, OK, I'll go talk to the Air Force recruiter. He talked to me about all my options to come into the Air Force. So I drove home, and I told my mom, I'm going in. She's like, good. She's like super excited. She's like, you're really going to do it? You're going to join the Air Force? I'm like, yes. She goes, good. Now go tell your dad. And I was like, hold on a minute. Dad, I said, I need to sit down and talk to you. My mom's sitting right across from me. What is it you want to talk to me? Well, Dad, I go, I'm going into the Air Force. And he goes, no, you're not. That's a man's job. I said, well, Dad, luckily, you taught me how to do a man's job, work hard. And my mom, I could see her in the corner of my eye. She's like, yes, you know, like she has that look. He's like, OK, Pedrito, this is what you want to do. If you want to join the Air Force, he goes, Let's do it. After basic training, I trained to become a medical admin, medical administrator. I worked in the outpatient records for a while. From there, I ended up going to TRICARE. Then I did an air vac. I worked in systems. I worked in outpatient clinics. So just because I learned you know, to become a 4A doesn't mean you're stuck in one job. I deployed in 03. It was in Qatar. During my deployment, working with these nurses, I was like, I would love to do what they're doing right now, taking care of our troops. I talked to my husband about it, and I was like, I want to be a nurse. And he's like, really? He goes, why? <laughs> and I was like, why not? I think it would be an awesome job. I did separate from being enlisted. I went to Brevard Community College, started using my GI Bill. Thank you, Air Force. When I was graduating from my bachelor's in nursing, I uh, started talking back to the recruiter again. I said, I miss the Air Force. I want to be a nurse in the Air Force. And he's like, OK. He goes, let's start the paperwork again. I was amazed that this was really happening, that I was going to be not just a nurse, but an officer. I am going to be Lieutenant Holloway. Coming up where I did and growing up that hard life, you know, working in the fields and wanting to be somebody. I feel like I'm fulfilled. Now, my father, he's so proud that, you know, his daughter is in the Air Force and she's a nurse. I went from not knowing what I was going to do the next day to having a career. I don't take it for granted. I love what I do, and I love doing it in the Air Force.